Kwanza tumefurahi sana kumpokea waziri wa elimu ya msingi wa Afrika Kusini amekuja asubuhi sana leo na tumefanya mazungumzo naye hapa Aa, kesho atatembelea shule hapa Dar es uhuru mchanganyiko baada ya tamona waziri wa mambo ya nchi za nje e, kumwamkua alafu jioni tutakuwa na na chakula cha jioni lakini muhimu sana tarehe saba siku ya Kiswahili duniani e, mimi na yeye tutatia sahihi saini kwenye mkataba wa makubaliano ya ushirikiano katika masuala ya elimu msingi na kati ya makubaliano ni sisi kuisaidia Afrika Kusini katika kufundisha Kiswahili. Kwa tarehe saba mwezi wa saba ni siku ya Kiswahili duniani. Na itakuwa ni siku vile vile ambapo sisi na wenzetu wa Afrika Kusini tunaingia makubaliano uh, ili kutekeleza ahadi ya viongozi wetu wakuu, rais wetu na rais wa Afrika Kusini kwamba tushirikiane katika mambo mengi ikiwa ni pamoja na sisi kwenda kuwasaidia katika kufundisha Kiswahili. Ni siku kubwa tumefurahi sana, nimefurahi sana kumpokea waziri hapa kwetu atatoka atakwenda Zanzibar atakutana na waziri wa elimu wa Zanzibar kabla jarudi hapa kusaini makubaliano na tumekubaliana baada ya kutia saini kwenye haya makubaliano viongozi wetu makatibu wakuu na timu zao wataweka mpango kazi wa utekelezaji ili sio tu makubaliano tumeshamaliza mambo yameenda so i'm really happy to to receive your excellency yeah no, thank you very much for the opportunity and we are extremely grateful and humbled by the reception we got from the ministry and his colleagues and also also from the ambassador of Tanzania to South Africa because what we've come for here has long been in the making pre covid we were involved in discussions whereby both especially as ourselves of South Africa, we're looking forward to a working relationship with the Tanzanian government in terms of exchanging scholarships, exchanging knowledge, exchanging also information around basic education, getting the best practice and possibly on our side sharing whatever we could share. But when we made public, in particular when myself as a minister made public that we were going to enter into a working relationship with Tanzania, with Tanzania being in the hearts of most South Africans, and we even have songs about Tanzania, Somafco, and all sorts of great things about Tanzania. There was lots of excitement in the country that we will be strengthening people's to people's relationship, but also exchange of information and exchange of people. So the agreement, what you've come for here, has long been in the making. We were highly disrupted by COVID-19. We were unable to pursue some of the plans that we had also had started even long before the late president of Tanzania had really committed to assist us in South Africa. But more than anything, because I think people know issues of curriculum, they know other things, that those will be known by the department in ourselves. But the mention of South Africans learning Kiswahili was really extremely exciting for South African people and we had already mentioned that Tanzania had offered to assist us in the teaching of of Kiswahili in our country. So what I urgently or desperately wanted was to get the agreement signed so that the technical team then can work on the implementation because unless we have an agreement in place it's difficult to go to our government to say here's a legal document that we've entered with the government of Tanzania these are the, the activities that are going to be undertaken. So indeed, I'm excited about the fact that the minister has made himself available. I'm here to get us to sign the agreement. My government has approved uh, the, the, the document itself, so it is legally uh, a, 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 an instrument or a document of South Africa that we are bringing to the Tanzanians to sign with us. And from there, we'll be instructing our technical teams to develop an implementation plan, not too long, because now they don't need much. There's a legal framework in place. They must just give us a, an implementation plan. And between myself and the, and the minister, we'll work out how we announce and tell people exactly what is going to happen, when, and how. So that's why we're here to really finalize that last part that enables us to work together. And from there, we'll be looking forward to our technical teams giving us an implementation plan. And we will, with the minister, 
announce it so that both people in Tanzania and South Africa know exactly what is going to happen, when and how it's going to happen. So we're extremely excited in South Africa and I know people back home, <laughs> uh, when we say we've finally signed on what we had promised, I think they'll also be extremely excited. Thank you very much. Thanks again, Minister. <laughs> Kwanza ni ni, ni chukua nafasi kushukuru kwamba leo tume, tumeona mawaziri wetu wawili wamekutana wameongea waziri wetu wa elimu hapa na waziri wetu wa elimu Afrika Kusini wa, kwa swala hili muhimu kabisa la ushirikiano katika masuala ya elimu ambayo itaendelea vile vile katika ufundishaji wa Kiswahili kwenye shule za msingi za Afrika Kusini hii ni kitu kizuri kabisa kwa upande wetu na kinatoa fursa nzuri zaidi kwa Watanzania Kwa hiyo kama walivyoongea baada ya hapo kuna mambo mengi sana ambayo inabidi kuyafanya kwa maana ya kuhakikisha kwamba Kiswahili kinakuwa kinakuwa ni fursa. Na ndio maana wamekubaliana kwamba baada ya MOU hii kinachofuata sasa hivi ni kukaa ndani, kukaa vizuri na kuona ni kitu gani zaidi kinaweza kikafanyika katika kuhakikisha kwamba plani ya ufundishaji wa Kiswahili itafanyika ita, 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 ita vizuri. Kwa hiyo kitu ambacho kinatakiwa na naomba wa Tanzania wenzangu ni kuhakikisha kwamba tutumie hizi fursa kuna mambo mengi sana ambayo yanatakiwa katika katika kuhakikisha kwamba uh, MOU hii ambayo tunategemea itasainiwa uh, kesho kutwa ina inakuwa ina fursa kwa Watanzania wote. Ni kitu ambacho tulikuwa tunakitegemea muda mrefu sana toka zamani na leo tunashukuru Mungu kwamba uh, mheshimiwa mawaziri wameweza kuja na kuweza kukutana na kuhakikisha kwamba watakubaliana kusana usaini MOU hii ya Kiswahili.